I think last one I wanted to mention quickly was this courtesy of Hypebeast again regarding Apex Works and I don't know it feels like I was going to mention this before but I think I mentioned it I was going to mention it now because of just my um, interest in this new little space that's sort of like brewing and existing and maybe being exploited and used in some way where people are basically making de facto club wear and I feel like it's odd because I would like to make some myself but I don't necessarily think there's really a space for it because, you know, I like clothes, I like fashion, and I don't really see myself going out of my way to go and buy any kind of, like, specific clothing that's made with clubbers in mind. The only thing that I've kind of been tempted to buy of, as of late in that kind of sense was this patter bag they put out a while back, which is basically a DJ bag. They've done, I think, a few iterations of it. That was pretty cool. And then, of course, um, the inf the kind of legendary fold bag. That was a pretty cool thing, but that was also more of like a status symbol as well. You know, it kind of gave you a nod of being part of the kind of OG fold crew. It was also some a kind of a nice bag to kind of carry and to kind of have your shit in it when you're raving and jumping around and shit. And then the other thing I could think of was this collection um with this never that but they did a collaboration with public release where they released these really cool little um capsule collection that included a t-shirt hoodies and a little dj bag also that i thought looked pretty well done and this was a this was kind of the closest i got to maybe thinking hey maybe i should get some of this stuff right they got a nice little dj bag here where you can put all your shit in it and whatnot that looks pretty cool they got a nice little belt that most people would like wearing that could kind of you know make sense a cool little hat in this kind of style that you know all the kids like wearing and similar to our trick style a nice pull of a hoodie that looks really warm and cozy and a classic t-shirt but other than that i can't imagine wearing anything more cut and sewish fashion type that thing that would work well in clubs i feel like a lot of it kind of like leans to like the workwear type of thing inspiration which i think apex kind of kind of gets their inspiration from and i don't know a lot of it just feels a little bit it feels a little bit um cosplay -y. It feels like a lot of these hipster kids kind of want to look like they, you know, it's like, it's like wearing a chore jacket. They want to look like they're working with their hands and shit. And they are somewhat, you know, regular working class kids when most of them maybe, you know, have parents that drive flipping Range Rover Sports and shit. So it's probably not the same sort of vibe, but there's something about it that I'm not really kind of, you know, vibing with too much. But the problem, I think mostly with Aphex, I think over time, it just hasn't maybe hit the heady heights it kind of reached when it first kind of jumped out and it first was around and from what i read online and stuff it looks like the one of the guys um kiko who's now you know a really influential fashion designer in his own right he basically left it seems like and he just left the other two guys to kind of manage and kind of do the brand themselves which might explain why it's kind of lost a little bit of his panache and a little bit of his edge and a little bit of this interest and intrigue and whatever it may be that kind of made it interesting in the slightest now it's kind of a little bit redundant and i don't know there's not there's not a part of me that would kind of want to wear any of it anymore and i don't really see um where it kind of fits overall especially when you think of all the other great brands out there and what they're doing and you think of what their price point is i don't know it's kind of a competitive space to be involved in but this spring 2023 collection that i'm seeing so far there's a few bits and pieces here that i would obviously wear like cool little um, track suits up and down like the green tie-dye stuff and whatnot but the rest of it is really uninspiring um kind of average looking stuff to be fair it doesn't maybe look well or come across well in picture form who knows but a lot of it just isn't for me in the slightest way shape or form and i couldn't imagine if i was to wear it they'd wear it for a rave like this is a really this is a pretty good look right this is look number 12 in this lookbook it's kind of like this nice olivey green type of looking affair with some shorts and a nice shirt and a really de cool designed um, idea behind a bag where it kind of tucks in underneath your armpit and it's kind of flush to your body so it's not kind of flapping around when you're walking that's pretty cool and some cool shoes but would you wear this to a club and sweat it out it looks pretty nice it's probably it's a nice little outfit to go to church with right to kind of meet the mumsy up and maybe go out for a meal with a, with a little baddie but would you actually want to wear this to a club probably not not the greatest club wear for me personally uh, maybe i'm in a minority here but not the greatest but some of the tractor stuff is pretty cool and interesting but i feel like the rest of it especially inspiration wise with it being work wear inspired type of clothing just feels a little bit a little bit costumey a little bit cosplay a little bit larpy 
and just not the most authentic thing and not something that I kind of want to be seen dead in. The only, this is probably my favorite look of them all, but I guess the model as well also kind of sells it really well. Look number four, it features this great, I, I'm assuming it's not tie-dye, maybe it's something else, um, effect on the top and the bottom, this nice green effect um, with this really nice jacket. The cut of the pants looks amazing and he kind of sells it really well with this kind of look overall with these nice big chunky boots. But the rest of it, not for me, not in the slightest. And it's a shame to see because I feel like the brand started off really well, um, very loads of potential about it. But I feel like over time, it hasn't maybe hit the heads where it probably should, it hasn't hit the heights it probably should have. And may, might it be because of the change of personnel. It might just be because this type of clothing, it kind of hits a ceiling over time anyway. I'm not really too sure. But let's just read the article here, courtesy of Hypebeast. It says, London-based Apex Works continues to expand its off sorry, its defiant workwear um, offerings with the reveal of its spring 2023 collection. Um, the collective imprint now debuts its spring 2023 collection, dubbed the Stasis is Death, inspired by the tunes birthed in England's West Midlands, the range drawn for the 19th Birmingham um, sound and its extensive impact on the modern day techno music. However, the genre provided an intense backbone and compared an intense backbone compared to the baseline funk from across the pond and defines the offering through the artist heavy handed yet minimalistic aesthetics. Thus crease dyed workwear jacket okay that's what it is then it's crease dyed workwear jackets accompanied by spain um smudged hoodies with a similar identity matched with holographic mesh tops um slanted on the dance floor was that sorry slated for the dance floor holographic okay cool so i guess that look that i liked was a what's it called what they called it they're calling that a crease dyed workwear crease dyed workwear hmm. okay I guess, I guess, crease dyed workwear. <laughs> it continues. Protective menswear sets uh, both rib cage gashings with increased breathability, while stained variations um, land in a discolored and um, brown hue. Traditional British jackets, tracksuits are kept sleek and simple with daily for daily wear, pairing nicely with the corresponding shoulder bags and chain dye wear. Apex branded crew necks and tees complete the collection alongside the looks of the. the okay cool fair enough fair enough i guess um again not for me personally um not really somebody that'll be seen wearing this top type of stuff day to day i'm not gonna lie but yeah it's kind of sad to see how it's fallen off because it did start off pretty hot but i guess you can't sustain that until the end can you you can't sustain that until the end